everybody, welcome back. If you're new, I'm Hannah with Happy Mama Life and I share tips and encouragement for moms to help you in the busyness of life. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the cleaning schedule that I have finally found that works for me. Now, if you are a mom and you are trying to find a good system for cleaning, then you've probably looked at Pinterest, you've probably seen a hundred different schedules and suggestions for how to clean your house. I have probably tried most of them, but none of them have really worked for me, at least for a long period of time. Different ones have worked in different seasons, but none of them have been something that have worked long term. A couple of popular suggestions are to have a cleaning schedule where you clean one thing every day, like Monday is bathrooms, Tuesday is dusting, Wednesday is vacuuming, and that's a great idea. Um, that doesn't always work for me, but it has worked at some times in the past. Of course, some people just like to have a to-do list of things that they need to accomplish and work their way through that. And I've even done um, where I will have one day that I try to get all the cleaning done in one day. And while that's nice to have the whole house cleaned up, I don't have a lot of opportunity to spend that much time cleaning the entire house in one day. So my problem is that a lot of times when I was doing the each day has its own task, if I'm, I found that if I missed Monday, then the next day I would kind of be like, okay, now do I do Monday's task or do I do Tuesday's task or do I try to do both? And then that just kind of feels overwhelming sometimes. Um, so if I missed something, it was hard to catch up. The other problem with having just kind of a list of things that need to be done is that what I will do is I will pick my favorite task to do and the tasks that are not my favorite will kind of get um, pushed off and not done. And so I end up doing the same task every time and not getting to the other things that need to be done. So for example, if I make a to-do list of things to do, for some reason, I will always write clean the bathrooms on the list first. And while that's very important, and while probably the bathrooms always need to be clean, what that means is I'll clean the bathrooms every time I make a to-do list, but then who knows how long it's been since the floor has been mopped or um, vacuuming is not really my favorite thing to do, so I'll like push that off. And so it'll be the same tasks that are getting done and then the other stuff is just getting worse. Y'all know that I really like to be just real with you guys, and so I do not have a perfectly clean house. My house is not perfectly clean, like, ever. Um, we have six people in our house. I have four children, six and under, and so to have the entire house clean at one time is a big task, and so there are always going to be kind of some things that slide, but this is the idea that has finally worked for me in getting to those tasks more often than not. This is what I call my looping cleaning schedule. The idea came to me because I was doing um, a looping schedule in some of our homeschool stuff. So if you're familiar with a looping schedule for homeschooling, um, it's where some of your, not your main subjects, but you take um, those and you put them in a loop. And so like whatever day, you just kind of do the next thing. So if you miss a day, you're not always missing the same subject every day. You're The next day you're coming back and going, okay, we did this yesterday, so today we're gonna move to the next one. So it's just a way of making sure that you're getting to everything instead of sticking with one thing all the time and missing the other subjects every day. So I thought, why could I not use this in my cleaning? And I thought, well, I guess I can because I'm in charge and I can clean my house how I want. So I thought this would be a great idea for cleaning and it has worked really well. So here's how it works. I make a list of the cleaning items that need to be done and I start with the first one that's on the list. Now you're going to think, isn't that the same thing as making a to-do list? But here's the difference. What you do is you do the first thing on the list, not pick one, not decide which one you want to do. And then when you have more time, you do the next thing on the list. And then the next time you do the next thing on the list and the next thing on the list. This means I'm not deciding. There's a whole list. I don't get to come and kind of pick, oh, what do I want to do? I just do the next thing. And so my goal is to get all the way through the list in a week um, so that the whole house is cleaned in a week, but sometimes that doesn't happen. And so instead of the next Monday, I'm going back to, you know, the Monday task, I'm going to the next task and it's still putting me onto the next thing that needs to be done, which means that's the thing that it's been the longest since I've done. So I'm getting to that next task. 
So this is what my leaving schedule looks like and I just write this in my super simple bullet journal which I'm going to do a video about next week. So make sure you're subscribed so you will get to see that video. But I just have a list of tasks on here. It's just my list of tasks that need to be done and so um, I will start at the top. And I will do like today when I have some time to clean, I will, this says mop the floor. So I will mop the floor and I will check that off. Now, if I have some extra time, if I have like a good amount of time to do some cleaning, I might mop the floor and I might clean the kids' bathroom, which is the next thing. But then I might not really have time to do the downstairs bathroom and our bathroom. So I'm not cleaning all the bathrooms. So tomorrow, or the next day when I have time to clean again, I will just go to the next thing. And whether that means um, it's the bathroom or whatever, the next thing is I'm gonna do that. Now, like I said, I might have a lot of time and I might get through like three or four things in one day, or I might only have like 10, 15 minutes to get something done and I'm gonna check one thing off. But it doesn't matter. I just do whatever I have time for and then the next day or the next time I can go to the next thing and do however much I have time for that day. And why this works so well is that if for some reason I don't get through everything this week, let's say I get you know down to here and I have gotten all of these things done that week, that's great. That's great that I got that amount done. So next week, what I'm gonna do when I start my list is this is now gonna be the beginning of my list. So I would just start here, this says vacuum upstairs. So I would just make a new list and it's gonna start here. And then this is gonna be next. And then all of these things will be added below. So wherever I am in the schedule at the end of the week, that's where I started the next week and it just keeps going in a loop. The other beauty in this looping schedule is that anytime I find that I need to add in an extra task, um, like let's say I don't clean like the baseboards every single week, but I might kind of go, mm, the baseboards need to be clean this week or in the near future. And so I'll just add it to my list. And so when I get to it on the loop, it's gonna get done, it's gonna get crossed off because that's gonna be my next task. And then I won't necessarily add it back in every single week, but that way, anytime there's an extra task that needs to be done, I can just slip it in there and it doesn't have to get its own day assigned. It doesn't have to become like this elaborate thing. It just gets added to the loop and when its turn comes up, it gets done. So this looping schedule really helps me a lot with decision fatigue. I don't know if you're familiar with that term, but as moms, we make so many decisions all of the time. And so if I've got a few minutes and I'm thinking, okay, like I could go clean something, I could you know, do something around the house, a lot of the time I'm not sure where to start. Um, and because if it's been you know a couple of days or something, it might be overwhelming and I might think, oh, I just don't know where to start in cleaning the house. What can I do that's gonna make a difference? Well, with this, I don't have to make a decision. I just pick up my list and I just do whatever is next which also means I save time from just trying to make that decision and think about it. I just look, I go, I do. And like I said, a lot of times I, if I'm making a list, I will write down kind of my favorite chores to do and not maybe the things that are really needing to be done right then. And so this also saves me from that because it's on the list and I just have to do the next thing. Looping schedules can be used for a lot of different things, and so I love to use it for cleaning, um, but it's just one of those things that just kind of puts it on autopilot that you just do the next thing. And as moms, a lot of times, that's all we can do. It can be overwhelming. We can just feel like there's so much, and if we can just learn to do the next thing, then we are moving forward. We are making progress. We are doing what we need to be doing. I hope that that is helpful and encouraging to you. Um, I hope that that's a tip that you can take and go ahead and apply. You can go make a list today um, of the things that would go in your looping schedule. Yours will probably look different than mine. Um, and that's also the beauty of it. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be a whole system. Like I said, I just write mine in my super simple notebook and I start over every single week. So um, I hope that that's helpful and I hope that you um, will be able to use that in your home. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, um, I am doing a giveaway when I reach 100 subscribers and I'm not far from that. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you'll see my next videos and share with your friends so that they can subscribe too. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.